What's up guys, this is Y and today I'm gonna show you how to create something like this. Okay, so first of all I'm gonna create a new composition and I'll rename this to 3D logo reveal. Cool. 1920 by 1080 p 24 frames per second and duration is 10 seconds cool then i'll just import my assets you're gonna get the link for them in the description so make sure to check that out as well and now i'm gonna just place my sphere and i will place this sparkle below the sphere smoke below the sphere and the particles above the sphere cool and then i'm gonna just scale down the sphere touch so i'm gonna scale it to say 70. cool and then i will just apply the flow texture and i will make it a 3d layer just click on this toggle switches and modes make it 3d cool and I'll just open the transform and change the orientation to 90 degrees cool and then i will just bring it down like so cool and maybe i will just uncheck this option in the scale and i will just scale it up a touch like so cool so now i'm gonna just duplicate the sphere so i'm gonna go to edit and duplicate cool and i will rename this to reflection and i will make it 3d as well and i will just change the orientation to 90 degrees and bring it down as well cool then i will just apply a tint effect to the floor cool and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just duplicate the smoke and maybe i will just change the opacity so I'm gonna open this transform and just bring down the opacity a touch select this more clear um, maybe bring it up a touch like so maybe just scale it up cool so i will just decrease the opacity of this as well cool and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just create a new adjustment layer and i'll rename this to floor and smoke color cool and i will make sure that this layer is above the smoke and floor layer only and i will apply an effect that is vc color vibrance this is a free plugin from Video Copilot. And I will just change the color to say maybe this. Cool. And you're gonna get the hex code of this in the description. So make sure to check that out as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just increase the vibrance to one point. 86 and the brightness to 2 and maybe the gamma to 1.09 cool so now i'm gonna just click on this floor texture layer select my pen tool and i'm gonna just make a shape and i will just press f on my keyboard to open the feather i'll just feather it out like so and select this tool and i will just change the shape a touch a little bit there looks good cool okay so now i'm gonna just apply a compound blur to the reflection and change the blur layer to floor texture let me just increase it somewhere around there 
uncheck the stretch map to fit cool then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just create a new adjustment layer and i'll rename this to color and i will apply a curves adjustment layer and i will just change the blending mode of these particles to add and apply a fast fast blur to this i think like that looks good and click on repeat edge pixel go to the curves and i will just make it a nice s curve like that maybe just decrease the reds a touch like so add a little bit of just remove a little bit of green and add a touch of blue cool okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just import my logo you will get the link to download this logo in the description cool and i will place it above the sphere okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just scale it to say i don't know maybe 70 cool and i will just scale up the sphere touch like so and the reflection also same value Cool. okay so i'm gonna just trim this composition to around 8 seconds 12 frames just make it the layer and just right click trim comp to work area cool okay i will just pre-comp this photoshop logo press ctrl shift c move all attributes rename this to logo cool right okay maybe i will just scale it down a touch maybe 65 cool okay so now i'm gonna just press s on my keyboard to open the scale properties and i will go to say uh, right there and i will create a keyframe on the scale and make it zero and then i will go to somewhere around uh, there and make it 70 cool then i will just apply a linear wipe effect to the logo okay so i'm gonna change the wipe angle to 318 cool change the feather to say 30 okay then i will go to say um i don't know maybe there and create a keyframe on the transition completion and make it 100 and then i will go to say somewhere around somewhere around there and make it zero cool okay i will just open this and i will make it 100 thousand okay so our logo is nice and big cool maybe i will just scale it down a touch maybe 90. okay that's looking fine i'm gonna apply a glow effect to this and we'll just increase the radius uh, maybe somewhere around there something like that cool then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go till there and just select my logo and press Ctrl Shift D to split the logo into two parts and I'm gonna rename this to logo and cool and then I will go to somewhere around maybe I don't know um somewhere around 
yep there and i will just press u on my keyboard to open the transition properties and i will just create a new keyframe so i will just switch it off and i will change the white angle to say 120 degrees and the feather radius to maybe i don't know let's keep it at 29 okay and i will create a keyframe at say mm, okay let's create a keyframe right there then i will just go few frames forward right there and i will make the transition completion to 100 percent cool okay so we are pretty much done so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just create a layer new solid and I'll rename this to of stands for optical flares and i will just create a flare i'm gonna use optical flares from video copilot this is not a free plugin you have to pay for it okay i'm gonna just clear all uh, add a glow and make it add and just maybe place it somewhere around there cool increase the brightness maybe something like that and just place it somewhere around there cool and now i'm gonna just duplicate it press ctrl plus d and just place it somewhere around there so we have nice lights and stuff going around there okay i just place it there and increase the brightness something like that and i'll change the color of this and of this i'm going to change it to say i don't know maybe something like that cool okay so now i'm gonna just create a new layer new solid and i will rename this to fhd cool and i will just add a cc jaws effect make the height zero and the completion 75 percent we get this nice cinematic bar okay cool and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just create a new layer new solid i'm gonna rename this to fade and i will just go to the beginning of the animation press t on my keyboard to open the opacity and i will just create a keyframe right there and go to say right there and make it zero okay then i will go to somewhere around there and click on this diamond icon to create a new keyframe and i will go to um, maybe right there and make it a hundred percent okay so let me just adjust some of the keyframes i will just bring it a little there and increase it like so and i will just increase the feathering cool so our animation is complete one thing you can do is you could just add a light sweep to the logo select cc light sweep and apply on the start logo let me just rename this to start logo cool and i will just increase the width and the sweep intensity something like that and i will just 
change it to touch cool so as soon as this thing appears i want to just keyframe it so i will just bring it down there create a keyframe on the direction and center and go to there and i will just make it something like so cool so let's just ram preview this and see what we have created today whoa that looks great right okay so this is looking pretty dope the only thing that's a bit annoying is that the flare over there so let me just decrease the brightness of that and it's looking perfect cool so this was it guys thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification icon so that you never miss any future update also if you enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new today make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you have any query or feedback to give the comment section is all yours this was it and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video till then peace out